Hey, our dogs have a new bench boss, some positive momentum moving into the second half of the season. Alyssa Ray has more on what's getting this team out of the doghouse. Dan Bramner took over the rail yard dogs program about a month ago, and since then the team has a record of four, five and one, and everyone is getting used to the transition. The players have been really receptive. Obviously, it's tough for them. Um, everything changes, you know, systems and everything as well. So it takes time, um, but the overall uh, identity of the team, I think they're buying into pretty quickly, which is, which is uh, definitely good. He's out there. He's showing us. He's intense just in the practice uh, of what he does and, and what he wants. So a guy that's fresh out the game, he understands where his, how his players feel. As a young guy, he's learning. It's a learning process for all of us. Um, but we're kind of taking it in stride as a group, as one whole group together, um, and we're making baby steps as we go here. The dogs fell short of making the SPHL playoffs last season. A team goal this year is a strong second half push for the postseason. A lot of hockey left, and, and obviously one one big goal is that we want to be in the playoffs. But um, beyond that, like I said, I try to treat it more of a process, and, and like as long as we're doing the right things every day on the ice, eventually that'll translate into uh, into wins, and it'll translate into like bigger goals. Up next for the dogs, a home game here at the Berglund Center against Fayetteville on Friday in Roanoke. Alyssa Ray, 10 Sports.